Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to the month of Allah. It is the month that we recite the Holy Quran. It is the month that we want to be affected by the Holy Quran. It's important for us not to only recite the Arabic and to let the translation or let the meaning slip away from us. It's important for us to grasp the meaning of the Holy Quran and also at the same time to understand that the Quran will affect us and will affect our souls, will affect us metaphysically, will affect our minds. One of the verses in the Holy Quran talks about the effects of the Holy Quran, that it is one, the Quran itself says it is a mo'adha. What is a mo'adha? It means to give advice with a gentle heart. When you advise someone very kindly, that is called mo'adha. So the Quran gives us advice. And as you know, advice wakens the heart. We need advice. We need somebody to tell us, look, what you, the way that you're thinking, the way that you're behaving isn't in the exact manner that it should be. You should change yourself. You should change the way you view the world. You should change the way that you view your relationship with creation, for example. So we all need mo'idha. We all need advice. And so the Quran, it affects us by, it gives us advice to the Qur'an is shafa. The Qur'an is a cure for us. The Qur'an, for example, tells us how to have a close and have a very successful relationship with our spouses. It says, Aashirahunna bil ma'roof. When you approach your wives, when you approach your, your spouses, you should, be very, you should treat them in a very careful manner, in a very kind manner, in a very good manner. So the Qur'an is a shafa, it tells us what to do, and it is a cure, for example, in our marriage. It is a cure for us from, in terms of arrogance. The Qur'an, when you look at the language that God has in the Holy Qur'an, you understand the power of Almighty Allah, and you understand the weakness of His creation. Therefore, the Qur'an takes us away from arrogance. The Qur'an is a shafa for us. When you read the Holy Qur'an, because it is a nur, and you understand how much rust has gathered on our hearts. So it is a shafa and it removes rust from our hearts. The third, the Qur'an is hidayat. The Qur'an is guidance for us. It guides us to what is aqwam, it says itself. What is aqwam? What is the most sturdy? In the narrations it says aqwam is imamat. It is to the infallible leader that you should be following. So the Qur'an itself completes its guidance with showing us that we should follow an infallible leader because they are a display, they are a manifestation of Allah's beauty, of Allah's power, of Allah's uh, connection with God. So the Qur'an is, is guiding us, is telling us that you should, who you're going to after, besides reading the Holy Qur'an, that you should be in search of your own Imam. Each person has an Imam during their, life, their time. The Qur'an was brought with the Prophet and he led society. And after the Holy Prophet of Islam, it was Imam Adi salam, the next Imam. So the Qur'an is guiding us to different things. And one of those is a gu it's guiding us to his Holy Imams. And when we think about these three things together, we said that the Qur'an is a mo'adha. If you listen to the advice of the Qur'an, the way that you perceive the world will be changed. Two, we said that it is a shafa for us. It is a cure. Not only does it tell us the way that we should correctly, we can fix our relationship, say, for, with our spouses, that also it is a nur and light for our souls. And three, it is a hedayat. It is a source of guidance for us. It tells us that this world that we're in, for example, is not hayawan, that the dar al-akhirat, the life of the hereafter is true life. It is the true form of life for us. Therefore, we should pass this holy, this life, and that we should not build this life. It is a bridge for us. And if, when you put these three things together, it is a rahmat, and that is the last thing that in this verse it says, that the Holy Quran is a mercy for us. So at the beginning, you get advice from the Quran, then you get cured from the Holy Quran, then you get guided by the Holy Qur'an, then at the end you have the mercy 
of the divine Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ahla bayti al-tayyibin al-tahirin. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala